Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me. It's your boy, Looney Loon, and here, we're about to get serious. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know two things about me. One, I really like Arda wigs. And two, I recently ordered a bunch of wigs from Ruler Cosplay. Ruler Cosplay, also known as um, MyCosplayer.net, I believe. I had, they had a, this what I thought was a sale going on, so I ordered some stuff, and I'm here today to talk about those things. I'm also going to show you a few of the wigs I own, not to review those wigs, but as a comparison, sort of like a wig, basically a wig bell curve. We're going to be grading and marking wigs today. This is basically high school all over again. Let's get, let's get to So I ordered three wigs from Ruler Cosplay in two separate orders. One was an order of two, and then I went back and ordered another one later. Before, I'm going to go into all of their customer service, shipping, and everything like that, but first I'm going to start with the wigs that I ordered. First, there was this red one, which was a sort of like a generic anime guy. This one is styled already, and this is from my David Cosplay. I can't remember the specific character. I will link in the description which specific wig it was. And there's this one. The second, which was in the order with the red one, was a Riji Sugiro from Blue Exorcist wig. And this is sort of where the inspiration for this review came from, because I have a little bit of an experience with this one that I'll get to. Please don't mind this wig head. That may or may not be your persona. And the third one was what wig claimed to be one of their original wigs, and it's this sort of sandy brown one, and it's, claimed to be, it's one of their Lolita wigs, basically. One of their original designs. I'm gonna get to all those wigs and their quality, but first I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the company and how I found it. I believe I just found it through a Google search of like, wig, and I found this site called My Cosplayer, and they were advertising having sales of 50% off and sales of 30% off wigs, which I thought, oh my god, that's insane, I gotta check it out. I looked at their wigs, and they seemed to be okay, and um, on the wigs, on the wigs it was like a countdown, it was one of those countdowns where it's like, four days left on the sale, get them now, so I thought, this must be a once in a lifetime sale, I better get on it quick. Little did I know, they're most of the time doing those sales, the timer kind of resets, I'm not sure if every time it like changes which wigs are going on, but essentially I did get this, the, all of these wigs at 50% off, which is a pretty great deal. I think for reference about all of these wigs that I got, all of these babies, they were all about $25 for reference. It was about 18 or 19 US dollars and then Canadian dollars, that's about 25-ish. So it was a pretty good deal on these wigs with tax and everything. Um, the one thing, like anyone, I'm always wary of new services or new sites. I wasn't know if I, should, I didn't know if I should trust them. So, I did a quick Google search on them, on My Cosplayer and on Ruler Cosplay, and I saw a lot of reviews, and I was kind of surprised. I was like, there's a lot of reviews on these guys, and they all are very good reviews. Further searching from that, I found that Ruler Cosplay is one of those companies that they sponsor a lot of cosplayers. Essentially, if you have about 20,000, I believe, or over followers on social media, they'll send you products for free, and they will, and you recruit them for them. Just so you know, for reference, I am not one of those people. I paid for these with my own money, and this review is going to be completely, if not brutally honest, on the company. I, in my opinion, I know a lot of cosplayers sometimes, if they receive products for free and sponsorships, they do feel a bit shy about giving a bad review if it's needed. So I thought that's one of the reasons that maybe every single review I looked up for these company, for these company and these wigs, was like five out of five on everything because these cosplayers received them for free. And so, by the way, I'm not calling out any specific cosplayers, nor am I shaming those of you who did review these company and give them five out of five. If that's your completely valid opinion, I respect that. Just in my experience, I know that sometimes cosplayers. I feel bad about reviewing stuff that was given to them through sponsorships. Now I'm going to kind of get into that bell curve I was talking about, starting at the top. So these two wigs are from Arda Wigs. This one is a Magnum in Black from Arda. Uh, this one was recently styled and then unstyled. If you look at the bangs, you can kind of tell there's a little bit of wear on them because they were teased up into this crazy thing like that and then I took it, I washed it, took it down. You really can barely tell this wig was styled. This is a Jaguar in Arda with Mediterranean blue whiffs. It's styled, this is my Nightcrawler wig. These are incredible wigs because they're thick, they're stylable, they're teasable, they have a lot of volume, and they're incredibly quality wigs. And that's why they cost a lot because you pay use of what you get for. So this is sort of like the top of the scale. Now, uh, Ruler Cosplay, I kind of mark somewhere in the middle of the bell curve. Like, the wigs, you know, for the most part, they're not too thin. Like, if you just part away the hair, you can't see the cap as easily as you can with really cheap wigs. They do have good cap construction in the Western sewn on there, but they're just not as quality. The fibers aren't as stylable. Like, with an Arda wig, if you brush it up like that, the hair usually stays because it's thick like that. This wig, if you brush it up, it kind of just 
sticks out. Like, I can't finger tease it as much. This has hairspray in it a little bit um, because it is styled. They style fairly well, but nothing really to write home about. They're sort of middle of the road wigs. The wigs I forgot I got from Luna Cosplay, I find very comparable to like this wig I got on eBay. This is my Exorcist wig, and it was just a Chrono wig that I got on eBay. You can tell, like this, like the Ruler Cosplay, these ones, this one's also a little bit shiny. So you have this one reflects the light a lot. Most Arda wigs don't do that. This one, you know, the fibers are very thin. They feel like plastic. This one is a little bit thinner, especially though you can really see the cap in the bottom there. You can see the west where it's sewn on. This one, I would rate... It's basically, these wigs feel like a little more like the wigs I get on eBay than I would like an Arda wig. And finally, at the bottom of the pile, this one didn't even deserve... A wig head plus I was out. They're all right here. They're not in use. These are the ones you get on eBay that are marked like ten dollars and they're marked like hot anime boy party shaggy medium long wig. This is my monster kid wig. Monster kid wig. I think it cost me like twelve dollars. It's super shiny. Uh, it's atrocious. It doesn't even have a proper wig cap. It's sewn onto like that sport mesh kind of thing. Not quality. See, this is a very bad wig cap. Ruler wig, ruler cosplay wigs at least have similar to Arda where they actually have caps. I should also note about ruler cosplay wigs, their wigs are fairly big, like they fit my head well, and I have a fairly big head. I also want to make a quick note about these wigs. See that? That's not a skin top, that's a jumbled mess. That's a skin top. That's what a skin top should, should be. Take note of that, Chinese eBay wigs. Look at that beauty. Anyway, that's enough friggas for Arda right now. You all know that me and Arda wigs in my heart forever. I'm now going to go and review each of these wigs individually. Afterwards, I'm going to tell you my stories with their customer service, shipping, and all that other stuff. So starting, this is the red generic anime boy wig. Um, I started this one. I did want to style this one before the video because I did want to show basically how stylable they were. And the point is, you know, I'm not the best for styling wigs, but from a distance, it looks fairly clean and styled. Up close, you can see how truly messy and garbage it is, but I think it's pretty okay. The wig, I do have a problem with it often putting it on. When I put it on, it ends up getting folded over. That might just be a me thing. But like I said earlier, a lot of people in their reviews say their wigs are so soft, their wigs are so like smooth to the touch. The, the fibers almost feel thinner. Like if you were to... to do like the, um, the circumference or like the diameter of one of the hairs. I feel like it's almost half as thin as art of wig, like quality wig fibers. That might be one of the reasons why it doesn't like finger tease as well, it doesn't fold up as much. Yeah, and just, it is very smooth, but when I got the wig it was very shiny and it was very, like a very smooth comb, like it like been combed through and it was really nice for blending. Uh, the back of it I like a lot. It, is, it just was kind of a bit too shaggy, so I had to trim it down a lot for the character. What else to say about it? It really is kind of just a middle of the road wig. There isn't too much really incredible about it compared to bigger brands. If you were to mark it on its own, it's definitely not a bad wig. It's a passing grade. But if you were to mark it compared to other bigger players out there, it's not the best. But on its own, standing for its price, it is a fairly good wig. And I would maybe get a wig like this again from them if I was in a budget. I do have to give points for there. That's a clean part. It's a clean wig. This is what the cap looks like. So it is really just a classic wig cap. It has the hooks. Um, there's a little bit of blue in there because I wore it when my hair was wet. Um, yeah, it's not a bad wig. On its own, it does fairly well, but it doesn't stand up to the bigger players. But if you're on a budget, I really say this isn't a bad wig to go with. Well, Ruler Cosplay does carry a lot of designs of not only their original designs, their original wigs, or what they claim are their original wigs. I can't really say if they are or not, but they also carry a lot of characters, so if you're looking for a specific anime character, they may very well have it. I know a lot of people get, like, Natalio wigs or Love Live wigs or whatever that one is from there, so they really do have a lot to choose from. Next is this wig, which they listed on their website as, like, Sandy Blonde Brown Lolita Short Wig, and really, it did actually hold up quite well to the photo in it. Um, the styling, it's, it's a little bit awkward, the styling, I find it. It's a bit too long. It should, have, it should be longer on the sides, not just the back. And the bangs are a bit too short. I wish the bangs came a bit longer. That way I'd have more to work with. Because usually with a wig, you want long bangs. That way you bangs, that way you can trim them as short as you want. If you come if you get a bang and it has if you get a wig and it has short bangs, 
and you're kind of screwed if they're too short on you. That's kind of what I feel with this one. I do use this for my Angus McDonald cosplay, or I will be using it for that. And actually, it is quite perfect the way it is. I don't really have to trim it or style it at all. Um, I gotta do deduct points. This one does not have as clean as a skin top part as the David one does, or as the Arda wig one does. It's not quite as bad as that eBay wig, but it's still not that great. This one also, I would not give it points for softness. Even just looking at it, it kind of feels, not matted, but it feels like it's tangled a little bit. It feels like it needed something to soften it and detangle it. Um, it yeah, it, it feels, I wish you could feel it because this the, this red wig feels quite soft to the touch. But this one just has like a different feel to it. It feels like they put something in it maybe that just makes it less soft and more tangly. But all in all, it's not a very, it's not a bad wig, like I said with the other one. Uh, for its price, it holds up quite nicely. I think there's a lot of use you can have for it. If you're doing J fashion on a budget for Lolita, it could be quite nice. And overall, it is, it is a nice wig. This one doesn't have as much shine as the other one. I say of the three, the David red wig has the most shine. This one really doesn't have very much at all, which is quite nice. And I do love the color. It is a very nice color. And yeah, it's not too bad of a wig. Now we have the problem child. I have to give full disclosure, when I ordered this, I didn't really realize that it was black. Because if you look at this, on my camera it's showing a little bit of the brown, but this is really a black wig. It says black. This is my Arda black, true black wig. It's about the same black as that. This character, Ryuji Sugaro from Blue Exorcist, has brown and blonde hair. On my screen when I ordered it, it appeared to be brown and blonde, so I thought, awesome, I'll order it. It did say in the description, black and blonde, so it really is my fault for not noticing it. I'm not blaming the wig company for, like, bamboozling me and selling me a faulty product. But definitely on my screen, it did not appear to be this black. This is, like, true black from Arda. On the screen, it looked like natural black from Arda, which is kind of where I get bamboozled. Another problem I have with it is just how the blonde and brown and black hair, you can't keep them separated. And I guess that's just the problem with the wig. Basically, as soon as it got out of the bag, it um, it got all messed up and it's terrible. The top there, I don't know really what's going on, but it looks very much squished. I can see the wig cap through, the way it naturally parts itself. Just It, didn't, it doesn't look good. I put it on once. And then I put it back in the bag because I couldn't handle it. The biggest problem for me is the color. And that really isn't the company's problem. It isn't like they promised me a brown wig and they sent me a black one. It's just I'm confused as to why the product is that way. But yeah, this wig is spotty. Like, look at there, right there. You can see that isn't for me parting it. That's just the way it, like, naturally kind of sits. The spots are where you can see through the wig cap. Another part comment I have to make about these wigs that I forgot to mention earlier. The Sandy Brant blonde wig and this wig, almost immediately after taking them out of the bags, they started to shed hairs. And looking at the hairs, you kind of see, basically, the, they don't seem very secure to the wefts is what I'm feeling. The wigs aren't too secure on the wefts. The wefts are secure to the wig cap. The hairs themselves fall out of the weft, which is a huge problem. You shouldn't have to be concerned about the hair in your wigs falling out. Just playing with it the first time I got it out of the bag, there was I already had like a handful of hair, and if I look down on myself now, I already have hairs all over my pants. So to my country, Ruler Cosplay offered three shipping op options. One that was like express, one that was standard, both were those you had to pay a lot of money for, and I was not really on board with that. And the third one was free, which I was like, yep, that one, click it. The free shipping option was about 25 to 30, 40 days. And um, that's what it said on the website. And I'm not sure if they meant that to be business days or regular days, because I actually believe I received these two in about 25-ish regular days. I also told I wouldn't be provided with tracking, but I actually was provided with a tracking number. And I was so, I, get, I, I was tracking them down. I saw them when they got to Richmond. I saw them when they were like away, and I got to track them all the way to my house. So that was cool. I was able to track them. And so that shipping, there wasn't a huge problem with that. Um, this wig, I had a little bit more of a problem with, because I basically... The first two wigs, I ordered them on, I believe, the 5th. They were shipped the 7th on the, of, this, of July, this is. On the 7th of July, I made a second order for this wig. And I knew, okay, it's like a long weekend this weekend. It's probably not going to be shipped or processed till Monday, Tuesday. But then I waited till about maybe like the 17th and the wig hadn't shipped yet. So I sent them an email and they said, sorry, we're shipping your, we're shipping your wig tomorrow. And they did ship it tomorrow. What I feel is that possibly the wig was out of stock 
and they didn't notify me, and on the website it did say the wig was, was in stock, which is why I'm still confused as to why it didn't ship on time. I'm not in a huge rush, I wasn't waiting for a convention for something, so I mean, at least there's that. I'm just very confused as to why the wig didn't ship till a bit later. When it did ship, it did get here quite I got on quite punctually, and it got here in very good time. Um, I'm just confused. Yeah, the, on the website, it should say the wig was in stock, so I ordered it. Usually sites, if the product is out of stock, they don't let you order it, so I was very confused as to why it didn't ship on time. Now I'm gonna get to a story about that wig that I hate. I'm gonna get to you to a story about me trying to return it. So when I told my dad that I wanted to return a product to China, he kinda just laughed at me, because that's not really what they do. And, you know, I know I don't want this wig in my life. I know I'm never going to wear it. I might try and pawn it off on eBay or something, or if anyone else wants it, I'd be very much willing to please take it off my hands. But I thought, you know what, I'm going to be assertive for once, and I'm going to try to return a product, something I've won done once in my life before, and I'm terrified of doing. So I sent them an email saying I'm not satisfied with the product. I would like to return it. Please, how do I do that? They replied to me about a day later, and this is also a problem with trying to return things in China or with countries that are, like, farther away, is that when I'm awake is usually when they're asleep and stuff like that. Like, their hours of business are my hours of, like, sleeping, so it's very difficult to do business in that sort of way. Basically, they replied to me saying, we're sorry to hear this, what is wrong with the product? So I told them, shedding hair, I don't like the color, badly parted, weird fit, I'd give them a list of everything I didn't like with it. I said I would like a refund and to return it. They said that I had to, uh, to supply the shipping, so I said that's fine, I was expecting that anyway, and they gave me an address to send it to. So I went there, and one of the things they specified is they had to specify that it needed shipping to be returned. I could not tr send it back without having um, no not shipping, without a tracking number. So I went to the post office, Canada Post, I bought a little envelope for it, put it in the envelope, I wrote the address, and the guy measured it, and he told me that the cheapest shipping he could give me with a tracking number was $50. This wig cost me $25. Both of these wigs cost me like $49 together. So I was not going to pay the price of two wigs to ship one back. And so I kind of said, yeah, whatever, and I left and I brought the wig home and I have it here. I asked them again, like, does it need a track, does it need a track number, can I send it without? They said no. So I said, peace out, I'm not ordering from you again. I don't have it personally against them that I needed the shop tracking number, it's not really their fault. It is good business, really. And I honestly, I would have felt more secure with the tracking number too. If not, they could have said, no, we don't have it yet, we don't have it yet. It really was good business that way. It's just, the, the most thing that, the thing that annoyed me the most about the return process is how on their website, there is nothing about the return process. On their website, there is zero at all about how to return a wig or what to do if you're dissatisfied about the wig. It was already hard enough to find, um, find just an address, an email to, to talk to them about, like, hey, I have questions about your service. So all in all, customer service from the Cosplay, I would mark as not the best. Some people might have better experience with them, I just had a really bad customer service experience with them. So, final thoughts. Will I be ordering from Ruler Cosplay slash my cosplayer again? Probably not. Maybe from one of their original wigs, because these aren't too bad. I might be, but probably not. Not because the products are bad necessarily, but because I had a bad experience with customer service. And basically, of the wigs, they're not incredible. I saved a bit of money, but um, they're, they're not the greatest. So I'd rather have product that I know will be great that I know will come on time, with reliable customer service, and then I know what I'm going to be getting. Well, basically all of these wigs, it was a gamble because, you know, I got this, I could have gotten this. Like, I had no idea whether I get something like this, something like an Arda wig, or something like this. And for some of them, it's kind of in between. Most of them are pretty good, like, this guy's falling from right off. Most of them are pretty good, but it was basically a gamble. I wasn't sure if I was going to get something great or something middle of the road, and for the like, two out of three, they're sort of middle of the road. I don't think I'll be ordering from them again. Um, if you want to check them out, be my guest. Just use your best discretion and think of the stories that I've told you. In the description, I will give a more in-depth review of each wig, like, um, the site, the, the link I ordered them from, and all that kind of stuff. I will give you all those details, and if you want to check them out, be my guest. But that's basically my, uh, my little rundown on my experience with Ruler Cosplay. 
thanks for watching. It's me. I'm Lunar England again. There's things that you can do, or like liking, commenting, and subscribing, but I don't really actually care about those those much. So I'm just gonna sit here and check Instagram while there's links for my channel. <laughs>